Hey guys, uh, I just wanted to take you through a quick video piece on updating your ESCs um, to BL Heli. Um, I have here my uh, Space One FPV Orbit uh, 1 250, um, and I have the 12 amp ESCs that came originally with Simon K uh, on them. And what we're going to do is we're going to flash these with BL Heli. Um, there's nothing really wrong with Simon K, it's just that um, a lot of guys have been switching over to BL Heli due to the more frequent updates, um, particularly when One Shot came out. Um, BL Heli was the first to get it, so it makes sense to, be, uh, to put your ESCs on it so that you're more likely to get the, the better, faster updates for your ESCs. Uh, so, the first thing I've done is I have soldered up my ESC to the power distribution board. Um, added the battery connector on obviously and the next thing you want to do is if you don't have one already you need to grab one of these uh, which is the uh, Afro USB linker uh, for Atmel um, uh, I think the processors Atmel uh, chips anyway that are on these ESCs uh, the other thing you'll need is obviously a LiPo um, to power up the ESC. Um, and the third thing you'll need to do is before you connect this up to the linker, you'll see that there's um, let's get this to focus if we get. You'll see that there's a negative, positive, and a signal. Uh, ignore the fact that there's a positive in the middle because we don't want to provide power from the BEC on this through to this. So we'll just disconnect the red, red wire, then we'll connect this up, and that way, so our brand is our negative, orange is our signal, pop that in there, uh, and then what we'll do is we'll go and connect this up to the, to the computer, um, and then power up the whole lot with the LiPo. So I will rejoin this uh, from the computer. Okay guys, what I've done is I have gone ahead and connected the ESC um, to the USB linker and to the USB uh, cable which is now connected to my computer. Um, I've also powered the uh, ESC using the battery um, so we should all be ready to go. Uh, the first thing to do is to load the BL Heli suite. Um, I will put a link in the show notes to, um, to, the, to download this. Um, once you've downloaded that, um, fire it up, and the first thing we need to do is to select the correct um, USB tool that we're using. Um, the 12 amp ESCs from Space One FPV are Atmel um, based, um, so that's the U and that's the USB tool we're using. So make sure you click on that. Uh, next, um, the default COM port should be selected. If it's not, you can click on here and select it. It should show up. If it doesn't show up then it's probably not connected to your computer correctly. Uh, once you've got that set up just click on connect. And then we need to read the setup from the ESC. And what you'll actually get um, if you still have Simon K on your ESC is a message saying that you're not running BL Heli. Would you like to run it? Uh, or would you like to flash it? You want to click yes uh, and then flash BL Heli. Uh, now the Space One FPV ESCs are the uh, or run the BL uh, the Blue Series 12 amp um, firmware. So go ahead and select that from the list. Uh, you'll see that there's plenty of other options as well if you're running other ESCs. Um, so select the Blue Series 12 amp and we want to select multi because it's a multi rotor. Click it. Uh, obviously we want to use the the latest version, click on yes to flash the firmware. It goes ahead and starts rotting that to the ESC. One thing to note is when you're powering all this stuff up, make sure that you've got no wires connected to each other, otherwise you're likely to fry your gear. Uh, once it's flashed, uh, read the device here, make sure that the flash is successful. 
and success. Uh, now one interesting thing to note when I did this originally with the Simon K firmware on um, it failed the first time I flashed it um, and I was able to reflash it again uh, and then get the successful notification so if you see that failed flash don't worry uh, just go ahead and reflash it again uh, so once we've okayed that we want to write the current config yes cool um, now there are a few settings that I like to make sure or uh, I'll set up the way I want um, and the first one is the DMAG compensation uh, I leave that on low generally or if I'm having sync issues I, I do turn that off occasionally generally I find low is fine though uh, the second thing is the PWM frequency damped. Now these ESCs support damped mode, which which means that the ESCs um, actively slow the motors down or allow for slowing of the motors down when you reduce the throttle. So they um, so when you're ducking underneath trees or um, or whatever it might be, the throttle as you lower the throttle it actually slows the props down so that the machine lowers quicker and you also get a slightly better um, you don't get the wobble that you normally get when you don't have the setting on so set that to light damped if you can um, the next thing I like to do is the motor timing um, I like to put this on medium high uh, as it gives a nice quick throttle response uh, and uh, a noticeable increase in power as well over the default setting um, you can run this on medium and medium low um, if you want to get a little bit more flight time out and a little bit less power uh, out of the motors um, so if you're just starting out I s probably suggest medium low or medium for starting off and, and get a feel for that um, one thing you will have to be careful of if if you're changing your loop times in the flight controller lowering this motor timing I've found causes sync issues um, so you need to increase your loop time in your flight controller as you decrease this value. Um, that's not the case all the time but I have seen it on a few combinations. Uh, so once you've done that the other thing I like to set also is the beacon delay and beacon strength. Uh, now what these are um, when the th uh, when the ESC uh, detects that the throttle has not been applied for the, the amount of time here uh, in this beacon delay it will start to pulse the motors um, making a beeping noise uh, much like a buzzer or a beeper um, and the beacon strength here um, alters the amount of uh, the, th or the strength of the pulse um, I like to leave it on 120 it's, it's loud enough to hear the model when you're within about sort of five meters or so um, it's not a direct replacement for a buzzer um, which are obviously a lot louder, but it's good enough if you're if you kind of know where your model's gone down, and it gives you enough to to find it. Um, once you've done the the settings, um, make sure you write your setup. So we're all good there. And the only other thing to do from there is to go and calibrate your uh, throttle endpoints um, in the software in the flight controller or if you know what they are you can set them here um, just make sure that all of these settings uh, whatever you change you make sure they're all the same on each of the ESC's um, and, and that's it really uh, once you're done just disconnect uh, and unplug and you should be away uh, thanks for watching guys um, if you've got any questions um, just flick me some uh, comments and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for any of my future updates. Cheers, bye.